Hello Floss Tube. It's Kristen. I'm back with a special edition video. I wanted to open with you all my 12 Days of Christmas from Mo Sale, Mo Bittner. Um, very excited about this. Uh, just a quick backstory. I signed up for this uh, 12 Days of Christmas Advent type um, stitching thing um, last year and was billed uh, 12 installments throughout the year and I kept paying it and kept paying it and then forgot that I was even receiving this or when it was coming. So um, it was a welcome surprise when I got the tracking information that this was shipped and it came today. So I'm so excited. You can follow Mo Sale. Her name is Mo Bittner. You can follow her on Facebook. That's how I found her. Um, if you all remember the kangaroo pattern that I was working on in 2020 to uh, raise funds for the Australian bushfire, that was the designer. So that's how I know her and I've been following her since. So let's go ahead and get this open because I can't wait any longer. And I'm just gonna rip this bad boy open and we'll see how it is packaged. Okay, so we have all of the packages. They're all numbered with the date. So I'm going to just dig through here quickly and try to put them in a quick order. I don't usually wait to open advent calendars day by day by day. I get that, that's really fun. It's just not the way I like to live my life. So, I would rather just know right now. Okay, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, here we go. So here is package number one. I also like opening videos that just get right into it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just kind of flipping this open. Let's see what we have. Oh, cute. It's a little fabric work holder. That's cute. And it has, um, what's on it? What does it say? Apple a day. It has little apples on it. Those are cute and very nice because you can fold them up. You can put them in your travel bag um, for retreats and whatnot. And then you can just set this out on your table to collect all of your work scraps. Very cute. And there was not like a card um, or anything in here. It was just the, the packages. So let's see. We have here number two. I feel like I'm gonna rip something, but <gasps> little scissors. We can't have enough of those. Some little. <sighs> if I can get the, I'll do that later. Little stork scissors. Oh boy, they're always very needed. If you're like Aaron, you just put a pair of scissors in every project bag. I'm gonna use my I'm gonna use my skeleton scissors to cut this, these bags open. So here's number three. All right, so we've got ooh, we got some lace. Aaron will probably enjoy that a lot. We got a tape measure. And these can be really cute for finishing too, like to use as ribbon on finishing. So if you have something that's stitchy related, you can use the, because like we all have a ton of these little tape measures in our repertoire. So you can just use them for uh, finishing. It would be a super cute idea. Oh my goodness, and cute little buttons. Let's see, so we get a bag of buttons and I love buttons on finishes. Look at this big blue guy. And there's like some little key charms in here, which are super cute. And just like a variety of big old buttons, which is really fun. Cute. I like the, um, like if you stitch a Christmas tree and then you use buttons, you attach buttons as the little ornaments. That's such a cute idea. Yeah. Number four, I feel, 
spool of something. So let's see. Ooh. All right. We have some one strand silk. And look at these colors. Which I gotta put my fingers in front of it. Those are gorgeous. A beautiful like cream color and then this really nice brown. Oh, how fun. One strand silk. Yes, please. I have some 46 count and um, 52, 52 count. I don't remember. Whatever it is, 56 count. That's calling my name. So for those, that's awesome. Okay, number five. I'm supposed to be at work right now, but instead I'm filming this video, so I can want to wait. So hopefully no one needs me. I don't care if they do. All right. Oh my God. Look at this skein of silk. It's like a hank. Oh, it's a silk hank. A hundred yards. Look at this green. Holy Moses. That is gorgeous. If that doesn't scream Christmas green, I don't know what does. Wow, wow, wow. And of course, like this is like a six strand um, so that you can, you know, it's a, just like normal silk, but it's very large. So this is great for samplers and big projects and whatnot. Love this. And it's so soft. Oh, I could just drape myself in it. I think there's another one. Okay, day number six. See how fast we're flying through these days of Christmas? Technically, I'm filming this on December 6th, so if I was following the advent, I would be in good shape. Y'all, here's a, this is a cotton hank, so this is a hundred yards of cotton, and it's called yam. See if I have like look at this. Look at this. Hmm. Love. Oh my god. I knew she was gonna have a lot of silks and stuff because she does that. Um but those are amazing. Oh my god, those are amazing. Alright, day seven. Look at these little counting pins. Aren't they adorable? Oh, I love those. Those are so pretty. And they come on this cute little piece of felt. Oh, those are those will look so cute and a little pin cushion finish. Oh my gosh, those are adorable. Uh, adorable. All right. Number eight, feels like we have some, um, feels like we have some more thread, which I'm pumped about. <gasps> oh, more silk, you guys. Look at these colors. This is a beautiful gray, 3032. And so like DMC 3032, but it's a silk one strand. And this is 3041. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right. Number nine. This is a great advent. I love it. Okay. Ooh, okay, so, oh, cute. We got some little needle, needle minders. This one has some holly on it and a little wreath. Adorbs. 
and we have some beeswax, which I love using on silk in particular. So it keeps your silk from um, fraying and um, gives it a, like a little bit of strength and rigidity. So this is 100% organic beeswax. And I, Mo makes this herself, I believe. Let's see, oh, it's a twist off. Fragrance free. So you can just dip your fingers in it, run it along the strand, or you just take the strand, hold it with your thumb, and then pull it, and then it'll coat it with the beeswax um, for when you're stitching with it. Okay, number 10. And I don't like assuming people know that because I didn't know that before I started stitching with silk. So. Ooh, got some fun little tools. Got some of the, some clips. I love these things. What are these called? The, they're like for quilting or something, but you can wrap these around your Q-snap and hold your excess fabric in place. And if you put them in um, hot water, like boiling water, if they get a little stretched out, you can kind of just zhuzh them back together and uh, they'll retain their shape. And a frogging tool, a seam ripper. I always need those, unfortunately. Oh, this is great. Okay, 11. Aussie's here to help. Oh, silk, red. Give me a Christmas sampler. Give me a Quaker, Christmas Quaker. Where's that Jardin Privé one? Too bad this is a giveaway. I'm going to have to get this for myself. Could you imagine? Dead. Okay, last one, guys. This is incredible. I'm so excited about this. This whole package has just been so cute. And let's see. And you have to email Bill Bittner to get my last present. So I have nothing to show for the 12th, but I am going to email and I will post on my stories after this video is posted um, on Instagram and you can see what I received for my 12th present. So this has been amazing. Please go check out Mo and Bill Mo Sale on Facebook. Um, it's been awesome. I cannot wait to figure out what to do with these silks, with these hanks, this cotton hank, all of these one strands. Got great little add-ons that just made it so fun. So this was an amazing advent. Um, if you got it, let me know. Um, tag me or comment below if you also received this or what your favorite part of it was. So thanks for watching and um, we'll catch up with you all soon.